how did you get into this originally? Like, how did you start being like, I want to be like this VSM <laughs> guy that uh, looks at the structure of things and helps people break it down? That's, that's, yeah, that's a really long story, but the short is, uh, I've always been sort of a big picture person. You know, I've always had a, a hard time kind of digging into the details when I sensed that there was a bigger thing going on behind the scenes that, you know, maybe we weren't looking at, or, uh, you know, we, we would benefit from taking a step back and looking at the big picture. Uh, but really, if I go back to the beginning of my career, uh, the very beginning, you know, if, if we're looking at my first interactions with the value stream, it was me making pizzas as a teenager, you know, and, and working at uh, a pizza shop, uh, I went through a bunch of different roles, you know, it's a very flow focused business. Uh, there's a lot of parallels to, to, to building anything. And I, I went through a couple different positions, I ended up in a place where I was like, the guy cutting the pizzas before they went in the pizza box. And I love that job. And I would perfect my technique of chopping pizzas and, and sliding them into boxes. And it would take me like a second and a half to cut a large pizza. And I don't know if that's a good metric or not. It's completely insignificant because if we look at the value stream of making a pizza, you know, the time spent in the oven makes all the time slicing the pizza totally irrelevant. Who cares if it's a second and a half? Who cares if it's less than a second, 20 seconds, two minutes? It's, it's barely a factor, right? So looking back now at the way that I've done different jobs, in the context of the big picture, you know, a bunch of optimization and a bunch of effort to really dial up the efficiency of one specific piece can totally waste your time, right? And, and as I went through my career in different roles, I would have these experiences where I'd be working with leadership and they wouldn't realize all the value that I was delivering, right? I was, you know, I automated this thing and I built this thing and nobody cares. And it's because people are looking at different things. People care about different things. People care about the big picture you know, you automating something that isn't delivering value in the context of the big picture is a waste of time. And it's just a recipe for people to get frustrated. And I find that that's a really common thing in software and tech is that every individual thinks that they're contributing value, but it's only value in the context of the customer, right? You can't come up with your own definition of value. It's what your customers are paying you for, right? It's, it's yeah. the outcomes that you're delivering. So that just so you had to like, redesign the the pizza you had to basically <laughs> redesign the big picture so that, that there was better visibility onto what those bottlenecks were yeah you know you've got to you've got to really step back and say out of this entire flow where are the real bottlenecks because if we're not tackling the real bottlenecks then you know we're probably wasting our time and we're wasting our effort and we think that we're contributing value but you know if we're not measuring that you don't know and so before you take a step in the wrong direction and automate something that's not, you know, not worth automating, we really have to think of how does this all fit together? What happens if we automate this, right? Are we automating something that's going to, you know, rocket us in the, in the wrong direction, or is it just going to spin its wheels in place? You know? Uh, so I, I just found that once I started thinking in that direction, I can't unsee it now, you know, and I see value everywhere and I see flow everywhere and I see friction everywhere. And uh, a lot of DevOps, I think is, we commonly hear automate everything, right? And, mm -hmm. and it's, that's just terrible advice in, if we're ignoring the context of where the automation is best applied. Yeah. So uh, I, I just think that that's super, super valuable insight and it saves a lot of time and frustration um, when it comes to like individual contributions to the bottom line.